Okay, so the other day, guys, I was playing a uh, 2K basketball game, and some of the players have, well, I guess pretty much a majority of the players have tattoos on them, right, and is reflected into the game. However, when you play Madden, a football game, they really don't have as many tattoos, um, and the reason why is because um, 2016, I believe, is when it happened. Anyways, 2K got sued by some of the tattoo artists because they were using their tattoos in the video game without that tattoo artist permission, without them getting paid for, without any kind of credit for them. So they got sued for it. So that got me kind of thinking, when you get a tattoo, who owns the official rights of that to? The tattoo artist or the customer? What do you guys think? What are your thoughts about behind that? And we're gonna start with the person with the most tattoos here, Nanny. I do. Yep. <laughs> I do. Yeah, we had a meeting without you. We're like, how many tattoos you got? <laughs> and she's just like, well, my whole body's covered in tattoos. I was like, okay, that's one. It's got <laughs> just one continuous. It's one. Yeah. Just it doesn't multiple. It's like a maze. Remember that old show, uh, Prison Break? Where yeah, the guy got tattoos. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was just like a maze. The archangel on <laughs> yeah. his back. That's how Susan's tattoo. It's just a maze. <laughs> it's uh, all the Pac-Man mazes put into one. Whoa. That'd be kind of cool. You should think of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, sorry, Day. But they're all hidden. You can't see any of them. So maybe I just have one. So go ahead, Devin. No, just kidding. I'm I have just... none. <laughs> <laughs> All I have is like a birthmark. <laughs> I don't think that and counts. A, and a scar in between your eyes. Oh, yeah. That's Aww. a sad story. <laughs> That's a Aww. sad story for a t- different day. I know. Okay. So um, I think that... I really do think that it's going to be probably... That you shouldn't sue for it. I mean, I don't think that in the first place that they should be suing for it. I think that it's my tattoo. Like, it's on me, so it's mine. So I don't think it's the tattoo artist. And then, you know, I was thinking, like, also, what if I drew it? Like, what if I drew it? So I come up with my own design. It's my drawing. I just don't get why they sued for it. Like, what was the purpose of it? Just to try to get money. I feel like people sue for, you know, just to try to get money. I mean, so I'm kind of torn in between the two, right? And it's because, like, at first I looked at it kind of like that, too. Like, it's on my body, and, like, I paid for it. But then I guess coming from, like, somebody who, like, because, you know, I do videos and, uh, and like, I with photography. Like, I know how much, like, effort goes into that. And to think, like, I, I like, let's say, for example, I film weddings, right? And I think, like, I filmed the whole entire wedding, and then the next day I see my wed- clips of my wedding I filmed on, like, the Hallmark channel, and I get no recognition or no not paid for. Like, that would suck because that's all your pride and work. And, like, this specific tattoo, even if it were small, that only took an hour, took this guy, you know, years and years to perfect his craft, to build his business, to create his art. And that's where it started making me, like, put on kind of on the fence there. Like, I... Like, it, I guess we're combining two worlds. We're combining the world of um, you create something, it's yours. And we're, but we're combining it with it's your body, you know, it's yours. And it's like the only thing that – it's the only product that you receive that combines both of those worlds into one. Do you know um, what the result of that – Yes. Oh, but we'll wait till later. We'll wait for that. It's so, not a big deal, but we'll wait uh, that. <laughs> do you know – have you ever heard of like um, – because weren't they suing also with the – when they were doing um, those dances, they were copying those dance moves in that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. It's actually a really dance good point. Dance moves. Uh-huh. Yeah, when, because uh, they did, like, the Carlton. So, the the guy who, Devin, this when you come in. Not uh, Carlton, Carlton, his name is. Uh, the, the, uh, Alfonso. Alfonso. Yeah. Alfonso. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Devin's not really good at that. He's like, normally Alfonso. He was born in Charlotte. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he was actually suing. I forgot about that. Suing Fortnite for copying his dance. Yeah. And so that started another little debate on like, can you license a dance? Yeah. It's kind of like the same. It is Remember, like the same. and I was also thinking like, you know how Polly D has like a haircut, like a specific haircut that he yeah. gets from a cer- certain guy? That's like, can he claim, I don't know, Can that's kind of the same type of stuff. Like how far... Does it go? Well, now you used to take uh, pictures, right? Like model, you used to model for this some type of guy, right? Lady. Oh, the, the lady, or, right? Oh, yeah, it was a man uh, from Austin. Right, so that man who took pictures of you, right? You're fine with him, like, using your picture for something else, right? Or not, well, like, for, yeah. like, advertisement, right? Uh-huh. But what someone else took that picture took credit for it. Do you think that's right? Like, if How would they take credit else? for it, though? Well, I mean, they just have it on their they have it on their site, making it seem like they are the one who took the picture, but it wasn't them. 
Yeah. Would it be kind of like the same thing? What are, you, mm. are you asking her or are you asking like from the photographer's yeah. point? Yeah. Like as from the model or from the photographer? The we, model. You think, oh, well, it would actually matter more to a photographer. My bad. Well, it would kind of right, be a little bit the same thing, wouldn't it? Not necessarily, because I think the the model in that circumstance... They just want to be... Correct. They're yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. So it's a little different, yeah. So I tend to, to side towards the... With, with Nay on, on that, because um, I did some research on the, the whole 2K thing, too. I also looked at the the one that happened in 2012, maybe, the, the Hangover movie. Right. Uh, the, the tattoo artist from Mike Tyson sued the producer or director, whoever it is, for The Hangover for uh-huh. putting that tattoo on Ed Helms' face. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So when they went to court, the judge was leaning towards um, siding with the person uh, that had the tattoo, claiming that you can't... If it's someone's skin, you it's... And this might get kind of racy, but like it's it'd be close to like a slavery kind of thing. Like You can't tell somebody what they can be a part of, and you can't control pictures and video of somebody skin um, because that you've you've put work on them you've done something onto them it's not it's impossible to hold someone accountable uh, to not be uh, able to be uh, on camera picture stuff like that there's no way to, to enforce Control that it, yeah yeah because yeah, that's crazy because we were talking because remember a few years ago when like I can't remember what clothing company it was but they reached out to MTV in the Jersey Shore and told them that they weren't allowed to wear their clothing company no more out in public because of what it did to their brand so then it's like, why would they be able to do that? You know what I mean? And I yeah. guess it's because they have a little bit more of You can take off a shirt mm-hmm. and you can't take mm-hmm. off a tattoo. Yep. And that was the, the such interesting thing with this because, you know, you brought up what point does it stop is what this lawsuit was going to start because essentially if you lean more towards the tattoo artist, then of course now you're, you're, you're starting a whole new realm of what can and can't be. Mm-hmm. But it's just super interesting to me because it is combining those, like, you know, if you're filming a movie and Apple doesn't want their product and then they can sue you and get them out of their your movie. You know, anybody can do that, right? And um, it, it's it's creating these things that we, we've always seen that was okay, right? If I created a product, I can take it away from you if I wanted to because I own the rights to that. It's taking all the, all those ethics of that and kind of combining it with the ethics of this is my body, yep. you know, kind of my choicing. I actually reached out to a friend of mine who knows these tattoo artists and uh, one of the guys from Big Spring who currently tattoos, he actually says, um, the person who gets a tattoo owns. Um, they paid. So it's like a painter mm-hmm. uh, painting something for yep. you and then you, the painter trying to clone, claim rights after they sold it. So in all honesty, if art is bought, then they are already compensated. See, I looked at that too. But they said that a lot of times when purchasing art, there are terms of the contract that the, the artist can still hold particular rights of the piece uh, well that's kind of where i was thinking i was like it depends on your how you're licensing yeah. your product yeah. i get the painting side because you can't just go ahead and paint the same picture and call it yours because you know it's by the other mm-hmm. artists you know so it's how you license and how you it's not like if you walk into a tattoo parlor and you sign a contract like that would be different you know yeah. saying hey you can't like this is your rights to yeah. it blah, 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 well so. and what's crazy is ea sports actually are are telling nfl players now if they get new tattoos to get that agreement signed that if you tattoo me i'm going to be advertising this on you know yeah on video games um and then back to the 2k thing actually 2k won the lawsuit um because they said that uh it's such a minimal part of the why people play the game that they're not buying the game to see the tattoos. Oh. It just happens to be a mm-hmm. part of the, the actual person that's being portrayed. And they go by too quick. Yep. Like you can't, you can't really, really see, see it. it. Yeah. That's why they, they said they ended up winning it. Crazy. Because it's not a... Because the focus isn't on like the tattoo yeah. itself. Like They're not building the, the thing about the tattoo. It's, it's not like a tattoo we... game. Like it, yeah, If the yeah. game was based around making tattoos and they used oh, these tattoos... Like, yeah, okay. Then, or like there was a like thing a... in the game saying, like, hey, buy this pack for 10 bucks to unlock your like, yeah. tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Um, so then we put on our um, social medias. So our fans, our family, kidding, <laughs> can vote. And uh, with 58%, uh, 58% actually agree with the customer, that the customer would own the right. But it was interesting to see... You know how close it actually yeah. was at first when the people were voting it was completely one-sided it was like customer 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 and i was like dang maybe i'm the odd one out here uh, but then it got closer as kind of people um and it, it tended it's and it was crazy because it was a mixture of both sides like it was a mixture of people who believed the customer that had or didn't have tattoos and it was a mixture of people who believed that ours had had and didn't have tattoos i wish i could have reached out to a little bit more artists to kind of get their perspective because really you know all we have perspectives are judges and 
people in this room that don't do tattoos. Um, mm-hmm. So it was just the one gentleman that had that was a tattoo artist himself. How do you feel about your pictures? Cause well, that's that's different though because, like, like they pay me to take pictures and then I give them a uh, release form to, um, you know, get them printed stuff like that because that's my permission to them to allow them to go get them printed. Um, but if they try to sell, you know, the pictures, yeah, or like let's say you take like landscape. Right. Or like, yeah, I guess would. That would kind of fall into the like the the art section of it. Then, like you know, I have a contract, so within there, there's terms in there that you can't resell. Or there was a girl like that. that I had on Facebook, and she takes pictures, and she was upset because this girl was editing her pictures, like putting more filters on them, and it's like per- showing her work, but she's putting a other filters on that's top a, of that's it that's a thing that's been going on forever though with photographers yep. that yeah. like you deliver pictures and people post them and put filters on top of them mm-hmm. and that's like they that's been that that's our own that's been a thing for a while like mm-hmm. it's essentially like especially when i started photography like that was a thing that would irk me and that's just you know with everyone it's just not with me like literally yeah. everyone. yeah i think the part that makes me lean the other way is not really the compensation because even if we were to say that they shouldn't get compensated for it but the the marketing that would come with it. So like to me, like an easy fix for two K would to be like have some kind of, like you know you can click on the credits page where it has everyone who went into the art. Like why can't if you my tattoo is gonna be in there? Why can't I submit you a form of to like my Instagram or something so small that essentially two K or these movies could put in there? So it's like one of those things where uh, it's just an understanding. Like you're not gonna be compensated for, it, but there's that marketing that could go in yeah, there for you. But I think then you're opening a door like that's gonna have to be put on absolutely everything. All the movies, all the all the games, or like there's probably hundreds of, of tattoo artists that are that are, you know, have work done on all these people. And that like, each piece yeah. could be different. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. Yeah, but it'd be it, it's harder too because to... you're getting like like tattoo artists are becoming big, right? Like there's a lot of tattoo artists that like are really well known, like Kat Von D, yeah. um, Nunez. Like there's some big name tattoo artists. So it's like those guys who've, you know, spent, you know, decades creating their brand at this point, right? Yeah. Like people but, recognize tattoos and say, hey, like that's a Kat Von mm-hmm. D tattoo. When are we giving, starting to give them, I guess, a little more rights in their craft that we have given pretty much every other industry? Music, right? I can't use somebody else's song without their permission. Uh, even YouTube at this point, you can't even have it in their back, in your background on accident or your whole video could be stripped. Um, I guess it's kind of leaning more towards when are we going to start giving them more rights. I know at this moment, I guess, that's where the, it's like cloudy. But, you know, there's a whole new in- industry that's moving on up. And where are they going to be able to start kind of getting more rights to be able to be considered art or be considered a product? A lot of times, like, celebrities, when they're at, uh, at award, sh- award shows and on the red carpet and they have, like, the dress or the suit, it's like, oh, who made this? Like, oh, like. Four, Tom Ford mm-hmm. made it, or yeah. uh, Dolce Gabbana, uh, Dolce, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> Say <Hello>. Taco Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize if you hear this. <laughs> I, I remember when we were talking about, remember when Ariana Grande got in trouble for posting a picture of herself, but she didn't take it, and so she got in trouble for that. So I, I get that, you know, it's opening doors, but I'm sure, you know, 50 years ago, we said the same thing about photography. What do you mean? We're going to have to give someone credit for just taking a picture when, you know, anybody can nowadays. So I get at the moment, it sounds weird, but I don't know. I guess it's because I can see where the industry's going as a whole. And people are getting, like, tattoos on their faces and everything, so how can you, I mean... How do they... Like, does yeah, as like an employer, police. like, is that like, do you think it's going to be more acceptable? Like, when you're like tr- starting to get hired on? I think, it, on? I think like, it's still a little up in the air as far as what you can and can't get. Uh, I do think it's moving, you know, into uh, the direction that it's it's more acceptable. I always wondered when I would go out to eat, you know, different places. Some employees would have sleeves, like basketball mm. sleeves yeah. on. Yep. So I'm like, yeah. why are they wearing basketball? It's because they have tattoos. tattoos. Yeah, I've it's seen crazy. that even on, like, because I watch a lot, a lot of live PD. With a live PD, he'll have, like, a giant, uh, like, a basketball sleeve on, on, like, on you his hooping? arm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to work at six, got to hoop at eight. <laughs> I have this friend on Snapchat. She got... Uh, I don't know, some weird saying like on the back of her, like towards the back of her neck. See, like, and uh, <laughs> she said like, that because no. uh, she like posts updates on it on Snapchat, and she posted the other day, uh, 
when I got this tattoo, I got it for a really good deal for like a hundred dollars. Now she's getting lasered off. Each time she goes, it's like five hundred bucks, oh. and she's already gone like two times. Oh and she's God. like, but it's turning out to be a very expensive tattoo. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like no, that that scares me even more. Like, thank, well, thanks, with, thank you for that horror story. I'm with Devin. Like, yeah. I would like to get a tattoo, but I would want it to mean something yep. to the point that like I know exactly what I'm getting, why I'm getting it. Yeah, it's not like a. Uh, like a, uh, I'm wake up today and be like, I'm gonna go get a tattoo and, <laughs> and show up. It's like if you go get an haircut, you're just looking through different tattoos. You're like, yeah. no, that seems good. I'll mm-hmm. take that one. Yeah. Me and my friend did that. Yeah, it was random. I was like, let's go get tattoos together. Okay, yeah, see, no. and there we nope. went. Mm-hmm. Have you, but that's I, nope. one that I don't regret. I like it. 